In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make any microphone sound professional in OBS Studio. Either you're using a budget mic or a high-end one, these tips will help you improve your audio quality and make your stream sound like amazing. This tutorial will also work if you're using a Mac or a Linux where OBS is compatible because we are using only OBS native audio settings. So let's go ahead and dive that right in. The microphones used for this tutorial are the Fifine AM8, which is selling about $65, the HyperX Quadcast, that's also selling for around $140, and the Rode VideoMic NTG for about $250. Those are the microphones that we are going to use for the purpose of this video, but you can use these enhancements on any microphone you have as well. So before we start going to OBS and uh, get all those enhancements, one thing that is very important to know is you need to have a microphone appropriate for your content that you're going to be using, the place that you're going to be using your microphone. Some microphones are used by to be in distance like a shotgun microphones. And if you use it on a small room, you may going to have a sound, a lot of your sound bouncing through the walls. If you don't have a room treatment bright to the mic, that does not gonna give you the best quality that you can, but just be in mind that the right microphone for what you need to do and how you use it is going to enhance as well your audio. The other thing is important to have a boom arm to get close to your mouth, the microphone, because when you speak close to the microphone that way, you can see that you can have, you hear the full voice of my, uh, the full sound of my voice. But if you're going away a little bit from the microphone, you see that it, it lost all this enhancement and enrichment of your voice. So bear in mind to always keeping about four fingers from your from your mouth through the mi microphone. It could be it, if it's condenser or dynamic microphone. And uh, when you apply those uh, settings on OBS, you're gonna see that it's gonna enhance man, your voice as well. So let's go ahead and dive into OBS right now. All right, so we're using right now the Fifine AM8 microphone. So the first thing you want to do is make sure this microphone and the volume not gain on the microphone is 75%. Once you take care and put that volume around that area, of course, you can use more or less, but I suggest about 75% on this microphone. You're going to go here on Windows. You're also going to set the levels on Windows audio settings. So you're going to go to right click on the uh, icon for the volume you're going to go to sound settings you're going to scroll down all the way to more sound settings and you're going to in this window right here you're going to select recording you're going to go to your microphone which is the fifine am8 or whatever microphone you're using for this uh, uh, enhancement you click it twice go to levels and over here you can set up whatever level you want to buy i suggest you to set up around 85 to 70 percent uh how you want to know that when you open obs you're gonna see the level while you're speaking when you add your microphone obs that should be around on the yellow i'm most touching the red one so this is pretty good 75 85 percent for this microphone or windows settings out audio in the settings and then after that you just can click ok uh, make sure also to go advanced and make sure that signal enhancement is disabled because you can add some kind of weird noise on your microphone. So I said this, enable all enhancements unchecked, okay? And make sure your level is around 85% for this microphone. Click OK, click OK. And then here on OBS, what you're going to do, you're going to first right click, filters, and on here on filters, you're going to select those filters I'm going to show you. It has to be in a set order for making this work. You're going to be start using by removing the background. So you're going to right click on the microphone and you're going to go filters and you're going to uh, you're going to go ahead and select plus and you're going to add the noise suppression. The noise suppression will allow you to remove the background noise as I just did right now. And uh, there's two options over here, the EPEX, which is a low CPU usage in your computer. Um, I don't know if it's that's a lot of difference, but definitely the R and noise is a better quality removal background sound. So if you're going to the the, the one that uses a low CPU usage, just play around with the meter right here, depending on your background 
of your uh, room and environment, okay? So for this purpose, I'm gonna use the do good quality so you can see the difference of between both. Now we're gonna add the second filter. It's going to be a noise gate. Now noise gate, it does the same thing that the noise suppression does, but it is a more manual way for you to remove. Some people use the noise gate, uh, which you get a better performance or better quality than the noise suppression. I prefer the noise suppression, but I'm going to show you how you use the noise gate. And this is, should be the uh, order when you put the filters as well. So I'm going to turn off the noise suppression. I'm going to turn on the noise gate. And I'm going to all the way to the left. And I'm going to stop speaking and I'm going to see where the meter is going to start getting the noise for my background and adjust accordingly the threshold over there. So it's between 55 and 60 decibels. So I'm going to go to close around 60. And I'm going to put the bottle around 50, uh, 55. There we go. A little bit more stronger here on 50. Yeah, and you can hear open and close. So that's why I think noise suppression is a little bit better. But just so if you wanted to use the noise gate, you can use that way. So for this purpose of this tutorial, I'm not using noise gate, noise gate but I just want to show you what you usually use a noise gate for. And if you wanted to use it, that's how you're going to measure your noise gate. So I'm going to turn off noise gate, turn on noise suppression, and then we're going to go to the next filter, which is going to be the EQ on the OBS. By the way, all these filters are already included on OBS, so you don't have to download any plugins for those to work. So you're going to go to the three band equalizer. And the district B band equalizer is a very, very easy equalizer. It's just the high, the mid, and the low. So you don't you just you don't have to understand much how that works, but you can play around with the meters to see how your voice look like and the way you want it to apply to your microphone. So over here, in my case, I like to put a little bit like a um, high on this microphone, not much. Round three is fine, and I wanted to lower my mids for about three three something, I like that like this. And I wanted to increase a little bit of bass, all this microphone, not much, maybe about four, four or five, like this, it's fine. So as you can see, the microphone already being enhanced just by using those three things, remove your background and EQ your microphone. But if you wanna go a little bit more of, uh, ahead to those plugins, that's more to come, I'm gonna show you right now, which is, to level your audio for this microphone or any microphone. What do you want it to do? You want it to make sure to you use a plugin called Expander. The Expander plugin usually is uh, increase the volume of your microphone when you speak a little bit lower. If you speak a little lower like this, um, eventually the meters, as you can see, is gonna be a little bit lower a little bit lower or a little bit lower. But if you speak a little bit lower, it's definitely gonna pass the yellow. As you can see right now, it's passing the yellow and it's picking a little bit. So the enhance, the, um, the expander will help with the lower volume from your voice to increase to get in a normalized audio for the viewers. So we're gonna add the expander. And the expander, what I suggest over here, Usually I use a ratio 4.1. Most people use it 4.1, 3.1. I'm using 4, 4, um, 0, 0, 001. In the threshold, I'm using around 32, around 32.6, around this area, that's fine. The tag, I'm, I'm using all the way down to one millisecond to attack and open real quick. And the release, I'm using about 6, uh, 100 is fine. And the input gate, I don't do anything and I don't touch anything else. So if I speak very, uh, very low right now, you can see that my voice is still on the yellow. So if I take it out, this expander and the same level, it does happen to not increase as much, but it does also pass and pick it right there. So 
Some microphones will work better with the expander, some that look like this microphone don't even need an expander because I'm speaking very close to the microphone and it is really good though. So I'm going to add anyway so you can know how that works. And this is actually the order. And then we're going to go to the compressor. The compressor will help you not pick when you speak louder on the microphone. So we're going to use and we're going to add compressor. And the compressor is the same way, 4.1, threshold around the 17, minus 17, minus 17, let's find that area. This you got to play around because the threshold, when you have to speak it louder and make sure that it's not peaking uh, or passing a third level. Right now I'm speaking and it's going to the... They're, they're a little bit on the on the, the the red one, but it's not that bad. The attack is good. This is good. So you can actually lower here. See, if I speak a little bit louder now, see, I'm 20, minus 20 dB. It's not even getting to the red one. So this is pretty good. You got to speak it louder to see if it doesn't go to the red one. And for the last one, you wanted to use it. Is the limiter no the limiter basically does give you a extra save um for not picking this microphone for example right here the threshold is minus 6 db meaning that if you're going to use uh increase the db it's going to limit it until you want it to limit it for example right now my limit is going between 50 minus minus 15 to minus 10 and uh, definitely this is a pretty good um, level. You want to be around like a minus 10 probably. Um, so this is right here. I mean, uh, this all sets right here with this microphone. It's pretty good for this uh, setting, for this enhancement. This microphone, I'm just using OBS Studio. So if I'm going to turn all the filters, you're going to see the difference. I'm going to turn all the filters out. As you can see, you can hear my background noise or even the, the sh sh noise in the background. So this is without any plugins. Now I'm going to turn all the plugins back again. And this is the microphone with all the plugins only on OBS, hence the FI Find AMN. So let's go ahead and check out the other microphone. All right, so this is right here is the HyperX Quadcast, the original one. And we're going to be enhanced that strata. One thing that I forgot to mention is for you to do those EQs, make sure you had a headphone and make sure that you listen to yourself as well to make sure this is correct. For the HyperX Quadcast, I'm going to go to also to sound settings. And I'm going to go and see the level first. And you're going to go to the, uh, the recording, double click the HyperX Quadcast, go to levels. And this is fine, this is 82 to this microphone. The microphone also level on this moment on the microphone like that is in the first dot. So if I go to uh, the, uh, if I go right here and OBS, I can see that uh, going past a little bit of the red one. So I can actually lower a little bit here until 70, 70% 70 right here. And if I go to uh, and see right here on the, uh, if I go here and see right here, it's pretty good because it's picking on the yellow, almost going to the red. So this is what is the the level you wanted to hit, to have for this microphone. Okay. So another thing that I wanted to double check is in advance, make sure the enable audio enhancement is off. I'm going to turn this off right now. And uh, I can see already that even better sound when you turn this off. Make sure you turn that off. I'm going to. There we go. It's apply. Perfect. And I'm going to click OK. And that's it. That is uh, how you set up first this microphone. The second. Now we're going to be adding also the filters. But like I say, for you to be able to hear this microphone, make sure you go to the three dots right here on OBS. Go to advanced audio uh, properties and make sure it's in monitor and output so you can hear yourself when you change it uh, uh, and applying the, 
the um, the EQs and all the plugins in order. Okay, so close it and let's go ahead and I click it. Right click filters. We're gonna add the first the noise compression. And now I already applied the noise compression and it's already taking out all the noise from the background. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to also use, I'm not going to do noise gate. I want to just explain to you how the noise gates work in the first microphone. What I suggest to do from here on is to use the band, the three equalized band to make sure you enhance the quality and the audio of this microphone for your liking. I'm going to use a little bit as well on my highs on this microphone and I'm going to lower around three or maybe four like that. Each microphone is going to require a different settings, but I just wanted to give you a uh, knowledge of how you can enhance this and you can copy and go from there. So I'm going to put a little bit more bass because this microphone is not like the other one. It, this is a condenser microphone. It, it requires a little more bass and I'm putting around eight around eight and nine that's fine so i'm gonna lower a little bit here there we go and this is around what is the i think this microphone can be enhanced now you're gonna be uh putting the way you want it but this is definitely a great plugin to put it in this order as well make sure that's in the right order now i'm gonna put the expander expander is the same way i'm gonna put in a 4.1 or zero zero one and over here in a threshold i'm going to probably let me see i'm going to probably put around like a let me see if it's 32 around this area and it's pretty good because i'm speaking low around 32 is good i'm going to attack i'm going to put all the way one millisecond i'm not going to touch anything else perfect and then we're going to put the compressor so that way it does not, when I speak it loud, it does not pass the uh, yellow, which right now is speaking a little bit louder, but still, uh, when I do this, the plosives is passing the yellow. So let me go ahead and add the compressor. Same way. 4.1 right here. And I'm threshold about the compressor. I'm going to actually. Make sure that is around. Let's see something. Make sure this is around 17. 17. Uh, I'm going to put a little bit lower. Minus 24 is okay. Let me put a minus 22. All right. So this is pretty good. Pretty good level. And uh, you don't touch anything else. And then for safety, you want to add the limiter in the end. Just to make sure it doesn't pass the yellow but it go close to the red one. So right now, if I speak it very loud like this, I am basically speaking very loud in this microphone. You can see that it's not even going to the yellow one, uh, the red one. But if I speak is low or low, very like this, it's still getting pretty much in the middle of the yellow of this, uh, this microphone right here. So um, this is how you enhance the HyperS Quadcast just using the OBS. And I think it's pretty good. I just want to go ahead and also turn off the, the filters so you see the difference. Turning off all the filters. This is how we sound this microphone without any filter. Basically only raw sound on the HyperX Quadcast. And now with the filters. This is with all the filters HyperX Quadcast with this microphone so let's jump it into the last microphone so i can show you real quick all right so we now we use the rode video mic ntg this microphone is different from the past two ones this one is a shotgun microphone that you can use for your vlog very good microphone for a lot of different things you can use this microphone basically close to you if you go close the voice definitely pick it up much better but this is a microphone to be used a little bit far from you that you don't want the thing on your face or even hide off behind the camera so as you can hear right now uh, we're going to use uh, we're going to level up the volume of this microphone the volume on the microphone is around three and four and are we going to windows as well and then you're going to check over there what the volume is there and we're going to go to again to recording we're going to go to road 
We're gonna make sure in advance is enable audio enhancement is off. We also go to the levels and the levels that I set up right here right now is 24 because if you go to OBS, you can see that the levels are pretty much almost going to the red, which that's what you wanted to do it. Remember, this is the distance I get into the microphone. If you have this microphone, you can have that distance. It's so it's all gonna depend how far you wanna be the microphone. Right now, I'm have like a maybe two hands away from the microphone, and that's the level that I'm putting in. Now let's go ahead to the filters, and uh, we're gonna go start with removing the noise on the background. If you stop speaking, you're gonna hear a noise. I look at a sh in the background. And this microphone is picking up the noise a little bit more of uh, the background is going around 55 to 50 dB, minus 55, 50 dB. So this is required a little bit more, a, a better noise suppression. So we're going to go start in the filters and we're going to go ahead and add noise suppression as a first filter. And it's already, you can see the difference between without and with noise suppression. And now we're gonna be using another one to, on top of that, we're gonna be using the EQ. We're not gonna use the noise gate. We're gonna do it straight to the three EQ equalizer. And over here, I like to increase slightly bit, a little bit more the high because this is already a good high microphone to pick it up. I'm gonna decrease in the middle for about 3.8 like this. And I'm going to increase the bass a little bit this microphone is not too much don't pick it up a lot of bass it's more like a natural voice so i'm not going to increase more than six and this is already pretty good i'm going to actually add it right now a uh expander the expander is going to help uh speak a little bit lower and it's be able to increase the volume without i have to increase my voice so i'm going to put a four or zero 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 one threshold i like to put in this microphone let me see if we speak a little bit lower let me see if we still speak it up pick it up pick it up pick it up until you cut the voice pick it up pick it up pick it up see right here it started cutting so you gotta go around the the 30 35 is pretty good and i'm gonna go to attack minus right here and uh, that's it. I'll leave everything else the way it's supposed to be. Maybe I put this 100. There we go. The release is fine. Now, I wanted to add also the compressor. So it can, you know, don't pick my voice if I scream it with this microphone. Because it's speaking very loud. It's still not picking. It's, it does a very good job to not pick because it's away from you. But if you're close to the microphone, it will pick a little bit. So for safety, we go ahead. And just put this 4.1 the threshold when i speak louder let me see let's see this is this is also lower your volume a lot so we're gonna go and put around around 17 is fine and attack release about 100 all right so now it's pretty good and also if you need a limiter you can add it i don't think i need it but you can add a limiter like we did the other ones and limit yourself to not going to the red one. So right now, this microphone is basically enhanced with only OBS, and I'm gonna turn all the filters so you can know how this sounds without it. Now, without it, this microphone sounds like this. You can hear a lot of background noise, a lot of background noise. If you can do this, even keyboard, if I wanted to press the keyboard, you can hear a lot of noise. Now I'm gonna turn everything. Everything is back up. You cannot hear that or even the keyboard. So this is all the filters that you can gain to any microphone using your microphone that you use or one of those that i just show as an example to enhance your live streams and whatever you're using your microphone for just using obs native plugins right there so that's all you need to do on obs to make your microphone enhancement and your audio sounds much better on your streams also if you'd like to see any of those microphones reviews go ahead and click over here one of those videos in the top list i really appreciate our viewers staying all the way to the end i'll see you definitely on the next video